welcome to another exciting class. Today we are going to be learning about the colonial Nigeria and the nationalist leaders. Colonial Nigeria and the nationalist leaders. Colonial Nigeria was ruled by the British Empire from the 19th century until 1960 when Nigeria achieved independence. Many years ago, a lot of their kings sold Africans as slaves to the Europeans. To get these slaves, the kings had to fight war. The war made their country weak. People were sold into slavery. A lot of persons were killed as a result of this war. Children were suffering. The British targeted Nigeria because of its resources. The British government gained more power over them. So in the affairs of their country, they had no say. The British government sent a governor to rule the country. And guess who that was? Lord Frederick Luger. Lord Frederick Luger was the first governor of Nigeria. Now, let's talk about the birth of Nigeria. The birth of Nigeria. On the January 1st, 1914, Lord Frederick Luger, the governor of both Northern and Southern Nigeria Protectorate, signed a document to amalgamate with the colony of Lagos to form a country called Nigeria. What does it mean to amalgamate? To amalgamate means to join, to become one, to be united. So the, the governor signed a document with the colony of Lagos to join together to form a country called Nigeria. In the 14th, six years later, in 1960, Nigeria became an independent country. They were no longer ruled by the British. Now, let's look at the name Nigeria. The name Nigeria was formed from two words. The name Nigeria was formed from two words, which are Niger and Area, by Flora Cho. Flora Cho was the person who named Nigeria the name. He later became the wife of Lord Frederick Luger. Let's talk about nationalist leaders in Nigeria. First of all, about Macaulay. He was popularly known as the father of Nigerian nationalism. Abat Macaulay was the grandson of Bishop Samuel Ajayi Crowder. He was a journalist and a politician. He fought for the British rule in Nigeria. And he was the first person that founded the first political party in Nigeria the Nigerian National Democratic Party. And his portrait is on the one Naira coin. Now, let's talk about Namdi Azikiwe. In 1944, Namdi Azikiwe and Abak Makolik set up another political party. Dr. Unandi Azikiwe became the first prime minister of old eastern region of nigeria he was the first governor general after nigeria gained independence and later became the first president of nigeria in the year 1963 and his portrait is on the 500 naira notes now let's look at obafemi awolowo Obafemi Awolowo was the first prime minister of the old western region of Nigeria. He contributed greatly to the community by establishing free primary education. He also built the first stadium in West Africa. His portrait is on the 100 Naira notes. Now let's talk about Margaret Apple. Margaret Apple helped to organize the Aba Markets Women Association in the city of Aba to help women improve their lives as well as have a greater say in their government. 
she also participated in the struggle for Nigeria independence. Hmm, how sweet. Okay, let's look at Tafewa Balewa. Sir Abubakar Tafewa Balewa was the first prime minister of Nigeria in the year 1957. He founded the Northern People Congress, NPC, and actually became involved in politics. You can see his portrait on the five Nera notes. Now, lastly, let's talk about Anthony Erumusele. Anthony Erumusele was a politician and a journalist. He founded the political party called Movement for National Reformation. Anthony was the first to make a motion for Nigeria independence, which was granted in the year 1960. You can see that's the reason why October 1st is important. You know that they normally put on your green and white. A lot of persons are happy that day because that was the day Nigeria achieved their independence. October 1st, 1960. Are you getting it now? Good. So, I want you all to know that we've discussed a lot of things today. We talked about the colonial Nigeria. How the British came to colonize Nigeria. Africans do not, they don't have say in their own country. They don't have say in politics affairs in their own country. So because they were ruled by the British. A lot of persons were sold into slavery. A lot of persons were killed during the war for independence. So they struggled. They struggled for independence. And finally, Nigeria is an independent country. We've also talked about nationalist leaders in Nigeria, about my colleague. We we'll talked about Margaret Epper, Nandi Azikiwe, Obafemi Awolowo, and what they did in Nigeria. You can see some of them, their portraits on the 500 Nera notes, their portraits on the 100 Nera notes, some of them, their portraits on the 1 Nera coin because of what they did for Nigeria. Today, Nigeria is an independent country. All thanks to these persons. Now, I want you to know we've come to the end of this class. We'll see you in our next class. Don't forget to attempt your quizzes and assignments. For now, bye-bye.